Hi guys, this is Dan from Life, and today we'll be talking about Petronet LNG. So this is one company in India which is into the Indian energy sector and has been equipped with wonderful technology to manufacture liquefied natural gas, CNG and LNG. Majorly, the company has been there for a long period of time and the company started as a joint venture with the government of India and major promoters from other countries. Further, the major promoters in the company are Gale, ONGC, IOCL, Bharat Petroleum Limited. The company even has done some contracts from abroad in order to get uh, or import 8.5 million metric tons uh, per annum of LNG to India. The company has been there for quite some time and has been growing at a good pace. Plus, obviously the demand of LNG and CNG has been increasing massively. If you talk about the company, the market cap of the company is at 35,730 crores. The assets in the company stand at 15,744 crores, whereas the debt in the company is at 3,073.02 crores. Overall, if you see, the book value of the stock is at 65.41. So if the company is getting liquidated, you will at least get 65.41 rupees as if the company is per share. Overall, if you talk about the sales growth in the company, which has from 2015 to 2018, it has decreased and come down to approximately 30,000 crores as compared to a 15,000 crore in 2015. Overall, on the contrary, the profits of the company have increased massively from 905 crores to 2,110 crores annually. Moving further, talking about the earning per share of the company, that has increased from 5.83 per, per year to 14.07 per year in 2018. If we see the growth in the earning per share, it is coming out to be approximately 33 to 34% year on year, similar to the growth which we witnessed in the profit. Further, if we see the sales growth, there has been negative growth in the sales and the sales has come down, but the good thing is that the profit margins of the company have improved drastically. Earlier in 2015, the company made a profit of 2.28% on the turnover of 39,627 crores, which increased to around 6.90% as profit margin in 2018, which is a wonderful thing. But we are still concerned about the growth in the sales. The sales growth should never fall in any company. That means the company's people are losing interest in the product of the company. So that is one uh, factor to be concerned about here. If you see the price movement in the stock from 2015 to 2018, the prices have sold up from 96 rupees to approximately 216 rupees. The current price of the stock is trading at 238 rupees approximately, and the PE band in which the stock has been trading is usually 15.35 and 24.96. So, this has been the band in which the stock usually trades. In 2016, the PE hit the maximum level of 24.96 and in 2018 level, it hit the lowest level of 15.35. Overall, if we see and extrapolate the earning per share that we calculated, if we calculate and increase it by the rate of 20%, we can expect in 2023, the new earning per share rate will increase to around 35.01. In 2019, it will increase to 16.88, 20 it will increase to 20.26 in 21 it will increase to 24.31 and 22 it will increase to 29.18 at a level of uh, if we assume a growth rate of 20 percent overall if you want to take out the future prices of the stock we will simply have to multiply the lowest p by the highest uh, lowest p with the earning per share of 2023 and the maximum p with the earning per share of 2023 other than this, we've got a course on Udemy. If you wish to uh, learn more about stocks, you can check out our course from the description and the link in front of your screen. So that'll be very helpful for, uh, it is particularly for the Indian markets and it's gonna help you out how to analyze, see volumes, trade, and all details about stock markets. Moving further about the stock and the stock prices, if you see and check out the returns here, after multiplying with P with the lowest P and the highest, uh, P and the earning per share, we'll get a price band that the stock should somewhere trade between 537 rupees and 873 rupees over the next five years, assuming a growth rate of 20%. That will deliver us a return of approximately 18 to 30% over the next five years, year on year, which is a massive growth rate and massive return that we can see from the stock. The auditors in the company are TR Chadda and company LLP. The return on net worth you can see on your screens that the return on net worth of the company has been managed pretty well and it has been also growing pretty uh, massively. 
Further, the cash flows also are there in front of your screen. You can see all the figures of the cash flows also, which will be very useful in understanding uh, the company. Further, I'll take a break of 10 seconds so that you can absorb all the figures that I have given. The CEO of the company is Prabhat Singh, the managing director is also Prabhat Singh and chairman is MK Protein. If you see the current PE of the stock, it is trading at 16.91 and if you see the mutual funds uh, holding, particularly 35% of mutual funds and institutional shares, institutional holders have uh, shares of the company. The dividend yield in the company is also pretty nice, that is at 1.9% 1. 1. 1. which is very good. But obviously dividend does not matter. But in this case, you will get if you're let's say investing 100 rupees, you will get approximately 1.9 rupees in your bank account itself. There is another way which is followed in analyzing stocks that is called the forward PE method. So in that method, what we do is, uh, what we particularly do is we just put in the, we find out the future PE, uh, PE of the stock by calculating the earning per share. It is a similar way uh, that we've done here. We have extrapolated the earning per share and after extrapolating the earning per share, what we do is we divide the current price by the future earning per share in order to get the future prices, future earning, per, future PE. So you can clearly see on the screen also that what will be the future expected PEs of the stock if the earnings goes as we expect it to and by dividing the current price. So you can see in 2019, we can expect a future PE of 14.09 in the stock. In 20, we can expect a 11.74 and in 21, we can expect 9.78. In 22, we can expect 8.15 8 and 23, we can expect 6.79. So this is another way of calculating, which is usually found in research reports. But we try to make it very simple for our customers and uh, majorly our uh, people or viewers that we, we also do a similar way, but we do in a way that uh, you can easily understand it and we give you a price range rather than the PE for the future. So that's about it what I wanted to explain about uh, Petronite LNG. If you guys like the way of uh, earning per share, just mention it in the comments so that we keep on doing that way. If you want both forward PE and the future prices pricing that we give, please mention it in the comments so that we can uh, get an idea whether what the viewers want. So that's about it for this video. Keep liking and sharing. Signing off, Sudan Goel from Finlife.